Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Addy here with some more Battlefront 2 Celebration Edition news updates and stuff that's going to come out in the next uh, next year, 2020. So basically, there's a little bit of a summary here of what's coming with this Battlefront 2 Celebration Edition, which is launching today on the 5th. So you should be able to get your hands on the copy probably 10 a.m. Mountain Standard Time or so. And uh, there's the prices are included. Everything is there. So we're going to go over everything like that. And let's see. Uh, let's see what this transmission basically has for us. So they, they have the little cover art picture here that was leaked on the PlayStation Store. They wanted to do this as a surprise. But they gave it up to different companies and stuff like that. And they posted them online. So let's go ahead. Let's read what we get here. And uh, we'll stop here. What you get. And we'll continue on what isn't included. I'll include some pictures and stuff like that so you can get a little bit of a rough estimate of what we get. Uh, after two years of updates to the game, we've decided to give Star Wars fans an easy way to access all that content. Which is why we're introducing the Star Wars Battlefront 2 Celebration Edition. The short version is this. The Celebration Edition will deliver instant access to every hero appearance, trooper appearance, emo vo voice line and victory pose available in Star Wars Battlefront 2 that can be unlocked with credits or crystals, including new content coming in December with our The Rise of Skywalker update. Simply head on over to the collections menu and they they will be ready and waiting. So everything uh, that you can purchase through crystals and credits will be unlocked. Uh, you don't get a lot of credits from some games, I believe it's like 600 to 800 uh, average per match. So it's going to take you a while to get everything. So this might be a little bit of a shortcut to unlock all the uh, all the appearances, all the voice lines and stuff like that. Uh, let's see. Want to play as Anakin in his General Skywalker attire? Go ahead. Feel like playing as Bosch Leia? The choice is yours. So all those are unlocked. Uh, what you get, you get the base game with all the past and future free updates. You get over 150 appearances, including 6 legendary appearances. You get over 100 emotes and 90 plus victory poses. So most of these uh, appearances, emotes, and victories are from the uh, troopers. Not really with the heroes or villains. It's mostly all with the regular troopers. Now, what you don't in, what you don't get in the game is uh, star cards. You don't get them all maxed out. You have to basically play. So, you play as level one. If you're new to the game, you haven't played at all. You start at level one, and then you have to work your way up, and then you unlock skill points that you use to unlock star cards. So basically, you're gonna be basically starting from zero. And I like the word basically. Uh, you start from zero. And then you keep playing and you work your way up. So that's the general thing there. You don't get any maxed out stuff like that. So it's not pay and then you get all this shit included that everybody else has to play and work for. So you start from the bottom like everybody else. Uh, you will not get the Last Jedi appearances for Kylo and Rey. Which I'll put on the screen right now. As these remain exclusive for players who pre-ordered and the owners of the Elite Trooper Deluxe Edition. So this edition and stuff like that is uh, not available anymore for pre-order as as you can tell already uh, you have to pre-order the game you have to pre-order this edition to get those skins and some star cards so that's a, an exclusive thing which I like personally I don't want to have to have an exclusive thing that you pre-order and then later it's free it's not that's not how it should go so you will you won't be able to get those unless you purchase an account that has those skins but other than that, you you probably won't be getting these at all. Uh, another thing that you will not get is the customization options that can be obtained via special in-game events such as the Princess Leia skin and the Farm Boy Luke. So those, uh, if you purchase this edition right now, there's going to be some challenges later on in the month that will allow you to get those skins. I highly recommend you do those. Just to get the skins because you otherwise you won't be able to get these at all. Unless you do those challenges later in 2020 if they bring them back. Uh, next up, 
We have the Celebration Edition launches tomorrow, December 5th or today, and will be available as a digital download across all three platforms, Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and PC through Origin. If you are new to Star Wars Battlefront 2, then the Celebration Edition will retail for $39.99 or $40. I believe this is US price. These are US. For those already playing Star Wars Battlefront 2, uh, this is the basic edition. This is not the Digital Deluxe. This is not the other editions. It's just the basic edition. The basic $5, $7 edition Canadian-wise. Uh, you, you can upgrade for $25. So these are all still U.S. prices, so it's going to be about $28, $29 Canadian. And this will be about $44, $45 bucks, uh, Canadian to purchase outright. Uh, for those of you with Origin Access Premiere, like myself, good news. The Star Wars Battlefront 2 Celebration Edition will be included as part of your ongoing subscription. So if you are with Origin Access Premiere, you're going to get this already. You don't need to worry about... Uh, upgrading or purchasing it it's going to be included already just download it and you're good to go so that's everything there it's uh it's so far it's not bad the pricing is a little bit a little bit high for the upgrade when the base game is just uh it's like eight dollars so to summarize everything you get over 300 items that you get in the game since the two years you're, you're not going to get items that are exclusive to other players who pre-ordered the game uh, before launch. Or you're not going to get any of those exclusive skins that you need to do challenges for. So those ones are going to be out of the context here. You're going to have to work for those. Uh, the release date is December 5th, which is a Thursday, which is today. And the uh, retail is $40 US or $25 US upgraded from your regular base Battlefront 2 game. And free download or free upgrade for Origin Access Premier users. So that's this is good here. I like that. This is the end of this one. Uh, I will do the Red Skywalker in another video. But this has been all the news basically regarding the Celebration Edition and when, when it's coming, what's coming with it. Uh, the pricing and stuff like that. So that's everything for this. Uh, let me know what you guys think. I'll try to link it to the stores once it's available. In the, in the comment, I'll try to pin it so you guys can check it out. And uh, we'll go from there. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Are you going to get this? Are you going to upgrade? Do you have Origin Premiere already? Let me know. Let me know your thoughts on this game. Let me know your thoughts on this edition. And then uh, we'll see if it's really worth it. I will be posting uh videos about the other stuff as well so stay tuned for that but for now thank you guys for watching hopefully enjoy and i'll catch you guys and girls in the next video peace out